Well, that's actually, it's extremely kind of you to come in at this busy time of year, and I'm sure you're finding it very difficult to spare the time. To which he says, no, not really, because I don't think about it until very close before the event. Um, I've learned through hard experience that if you overcomplicate all this delivering stuff, it becomes far worse. So I do it very simply and don't complicate it. Uh, don't you find it a bit uh, tedious coming every year to do this present delivering? Uh, wouldn't it be easier if you skipped every other year or something like that? To which his answer is no. Um, as a result of age, my short-term memory has almost vanished, so I don't remember last year. So I find each new year frightfully exciting. Now, how on earth do you manage to deliver all the millions of parcels and, and presents down chimneys and indeed unchimneyed houses uh, alike? To which his answer is, the, um, the, it's really rather a trade secret. And uh, the nearest I can give you to an answer is to tell you of what's now called virtual reality. A related question is how you can possibly know what all these millions of children and adults actually want for their Christmas presents. To which his answer is, uh, there is a, effectively a black net which wasn't uh, known until recently, but which I've been using for thousands of years, which has all the information on it. And it's just a question of calibrating uh, people's wants with what they can afford and what is, uh, what is appropriate. Is there any truth now in the uh, myth of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? To which his answer is, yes indeed, Rudolph was my friend and companion for thousands of years. Um, unfortunately he became technically redundant and now he spends his time eating tundra up in the Arctic. And I have a, 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 a sort of electronic robotic uh, Rudolph that does the trick for me. And he's much more efficient, unfortunately, than dear Rudolph ever was. You can't be sure with animals, you know. Um, now, tell me, Santa, what do you do outside the Santa season? Because that's most of the year, isn't it? Uh, to which his answer is, I don't really do anything much till March because I'm tired out from all the exhausting business of Christmas. But after that, I go down to Antarctica because I like snow and ice. And I can then go and ski and snowboard to my heart's content until I have to pull myself together and come back up north and start the routine again. Would you say that you regard Santa as fake news? To which his answer is not really, no, because uh, although no one really can see me and therefore they don't believe I exist, they're actually made happy by the fact that I exist and so I do exist in a sort of way. And that is why, uh, although I've got a strange status, I'm not fake news, I'm actually a real thing. Now, thank you, my dear Fat Santa, for those illuminating answers to my questions, and I shall look forward greatly to seeing you again next year.